Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here, I hope you're all doing well. So in this video I'm going to go through some quick changes that have been made in Escape from Tarkov over sort of the last 24 hours. Just some buffs to a couple of weapons and a change to one of the ammo crafts. So first off the SA-58 is getting some loving, they've changed a few values for this. So the vertical recoil has had a buff, the old value was 350, the new value is 325. And the horizontal recoil has had a buff as well, old value 600, new value 540. Originally Originally when I saw this I thought why are they bothering with that gun, I never see anybody using it, it's not a gun that I like to run myself, but obviously giving it a little bit of a buff might turn people towards it and maybe try it a little bit more. It's not a bad weapon, it's a pretty good gun, it can look pretty badass once it's been modded and you can get those values down, but again not really a gun that I tend to run. If I scav in and my scav has one, then obviously I'll use it. But as soon as I get out, it's so I don't really bother with them. But I might give them a try. Maybe it's a gun that I could uh, have some fun with. We'll wait and see. The VPO215 has had some loving as well, the vertical recoil, the old value was 245, the new value is 235, and the horizontal recoil, the old value was 585, and the new value is 540, and the Yergos had a change from old value 36 to new value 41. And we've had a change to the 9x19 AP 6.3 ammo craft, that used to take 9 hours 35 minutes, it now takes 7 hours 55 minutes. And of course to do that craft you're going to need 400 rounds of 9x19 PST GZH and two red gunpowders that will give you approximately 150 AP rounds in return after the crap. And that is it for changes in the game. I know that going through this week and going forward there are going to be more works on the servers done. Nikita tweeted, I think it was either on Sunday or Monday, that they felt that the work they had done last week had had a positive effect over the weekend. There was more stable uh, servers but there was still more work to do. I can't care with what he says. I had a good weekend with the game, very few errors at all. The main errors that I had was um, scaving in, sometimes it just didn't make it through and it got to around 18-19 minutes and then it just gave me a section, uh, server connection timeout, so hopefully maybe further server work will sort that issue out. But the servers themselves did seem a lot more stable, it seems to have been mirrored by a lot of people out there as well. Obviously there's still a lot of people that are going, oh fix your game, but I just get bored of seeing those comments now. But yeah, there is more work to be done, whether that means more downtime or not i'm not too sure we haven't had anything more from battlestate regarding that but hopefully going forward they will get to a point where they're happy with the servers and hopefully as gamers will be happy with the servers as well so that is it for changes in tarkov um not really much news floating about at the moment so yeah as soon as i know anything more on the game i will of course put a video out so stay, stay subscribed for more and with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay safe and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.